Hi everyone, it's Judy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Now I'm gonna get straight to the point. Let me know in the comments down below if you like big plants. I've seen a lot of people saying, Oh, my plants don't grow very quickly. I can't wait till my plants are big. Blah, blah, blah. And we're always trying new and different things to help our plants grow faster, grow quicker, grow more full. Well, I'm going to tell you one foolproof way to ensure that you have a big plant like instantly, straight away, without even having to wait for them to grow. There are some instances where I like to see things grow. I like to see the process. I like to be part of the growth and the life of the plant. But there are some instances where I want an instant big full plant, especially when they are the types of plants that I find are extremely slow growers. I just realized all of my examples today are plants from the prayer plant variety, <laughs> but that's just the plants that I've done this particular method with. So basically, here I have a Calathea beauty star, quite a small plant or small-ish plant as you can see here. It's one of those beginner sizes <laughs> where it's like a four inch, four to six inch pot. Generally when I find these little plants, sometimes I'll wait for them to grow and sometimes I want a big one. And so I buy two. What I then do with this is then pot them together in one bigger pot. <laughs> So I know that this method is not in any way like a money-saving method. If you are happy to spend the money and buy two plants and pot them together into the one pot, you get an instant bigger plant. So just for example, that's what I did with this Calathea Rufabarba. That's what I did with this Satanthi Boromarxii. I think that's what it is. This actually started out as one plant, which I kept in the four inch pot for ages and it actually grew quite quickly for me. This whole bit here was the one plant. I ended up finding another four inch plant and I potted it all together into this one pot and I've ended up with this instant big full lush plant. I had two of these roof of barbas in four inch pots and then I potted it all together into this one pot and then I have an instant large plant as well and that's what I also did with this Calathea orbifolia. I love the orbifolia plant. It's just got such beautiful leaves and I can't wait until this grows really, really big. It's not a very fast grower for me, but it's doubled the size instantly because I had two smaller plants which I just potted together into this one pot here here. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this Calathea Beauty Star today. Now it's not just Calatheas you can do this with, obviously you can do it with, anyway I'm just going to pot while I talk. Obviously it's not just Calatheas that you can do this with, you can do this with any variety of plant you can get, you can even pot different types of plants into the one pot. But what I would say if you were doing that is just make sure that you are putting the same types of plants in a pot, like almost of the same genus, the plants with the same type of care. So for example, Calatheas like to have their soil constantly moist or damp, but pothos don't. Pothos like to have their soil dry out almost completely. So I wouldn't exactly pot a calathea in the same pot as a pothos, for example. However, you can pot a Calathea Beauty Star in the same pot as a Calathea Rufabarba or a Calathea Orbifolia. You know, do you get the drift of what I'm saying? Just pot the same variety or the same care plant together in the pot. For me personally, I like to have only the one variety or the one type of plant in the pot <laughs> because it just does things to my brain. If there's three different types in the one pot, I just, I can't deal. I like to have <laughs> one type in one pot, but that's just the way my brain works. It feels too messy for me, but I mean, obviously you can do whatever you like. There's no rules to what kind of plants you can put together in one pot, but I would just, yeah, again, recommend that you have the same type, care type plants if you're gonna pot them together in the one pot to have one bigger plant. So I'm just ooh, making a bit of a mess here. 
So when you are repotting your plants, which also, by the way, guys, repotting plants is really, really easy. Don't be afraid to repot your plants if they need it, obviously, only if they need it. Only it does make a really big mess. So I normally do this in my, in my laundry room, uh, but my space in there isn't quite filming friendly, which is why I'm doing this in my dining room and making a big mess in the process. <laughs> I still need to backfill this. Now also when you are repotting plants, I wouldn't recommend that you like squish the roots in there or press them down too hard because the roots will find their way. If you squish it too hard, you run the risk of suffocating your roots or even damaging them. And then it actually puts the plant into shock and then they grow slower. <laughs> so I would recommend that you just, you know, be quite gentle with the roots and don't like jam them and squish them in there. Just give them some roots room and space to grow if you know what I mean. I haven't I haven't backfilled that one yet but as you can see that is now what it looks like as opposed to the original one one pot plant or one plant pot I should say. <laughs> See how much bigger and fuller and more beautiful that looks? If I had had uh, the foresight, I probably would have purchased three plants because groupings of three is generally the, you know, generally the way to go. I was gonna say rule, but there's no rules. Um, I just find uneven numbers like the best way to group things together, but these plants were $17.50 each and I didn't exactly want to get three of them. So two was gonna do. <laughs> I've got a little bit of soil here, which I will use to backfill but I've got more soil in the other room, which I will not get right now because I've already made a really big mess. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys, that's a really quick, easy, simple way to get a big plant instantly. If you're happy to spend that little bit of extra money to get two plants instead of one, so you don't have to wait for them to get really big, then this is a really, really good way to go. Often as well, these four inch pots, you can find them cheaper. So sometimes I find the four inch, four to six inch pots from Bunnings to be like $8.95, $10.95. And then it works for me to kind of like get two of them and pot them together, which means my plant is not any more than $24 for a larger plant, which is what this Calathea rufobarba came to. But I was also looking in the plant section and for a plant already potted this big, it was like $34.90 or something like that. So you still do end up saving a bit of money, like for example, by buying two smaller plants and then potting them together. So it does take a little bit of math, you know, and weighing up the pros and cons of what it will cost to get a bigger plant instantly like this or getting a smaller plant and just waiting for it to grow but I find as well that when I pot the smaller plants together in the one larger pot they seem to grow a lot happier I don't know if it's just in my head but I find that plants are just happier when they're bigger and they tend to be less problematic when I have smaller plants I'll get this small plant that I have so this is a Calathea peacock. I know all the plants I'm showing you as examples today are of the Calathea variety, but literally this goes for any plant variety that I have. This is a Calathea peacock. I bought it and it was this small and it has stayed this small for months and months and months. And it's just not growing for me. It's not very happy. It's literally got the same care as all my other Calatheas do, but I feel like it's because it's a small plant. A lot of plants when they're really small and very young, it takes a while for them to cross that threshold from young plant to juvenile plant, which is more like a six to eight inch pot when you purchase it. That's why when plants kind of cross that threshold and get are slightly bigger, then, then all of a sudden they just kind of take off. That's been my experience with my plants anyway. That's also kind of the benefit I find when I pot smaller plants together in one large pot. I know they're still kind of like the same size, but when they're together, they seem to be happier. Does that make sense? I kind of hope it makes sense. You just kind of know, you know, you know? <laughs> Anyway, that's my little tip on how to get a bigger plant instantly, literally instantly. You don't even have to wait for it to grow. I'd encourage you to try it out, see if your plants like it, see if they're happier. So now I've got an instant large Calathea beauty star to go along with my collection of other Calathea large prayer plants <laughs> right here. So yeah, anyway, that is it for this video. I don't think I have any more to say. Thanks guys for tuning in today's video. Please like it if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.